Hello, good evening. This is Dr. Arun Panda, aesthetic maxillofacial surgeon, Navi Mumbai, India. Uh, so today we are going to do a, a tutorial on uh, injecting botulinum toxin type A for macetric hypertrophy. So macetric hypertrophy is actually a very unesthetic problem with, uh, with which the patients come to us. Uh, they have a serious complaint that this kind of a masseter, if you see, uh, it's quite unesthetic for them. So today we have Mr. Gautam who has come to us with this complaint that his uh, jaw looks quite squarish and when we see that his masseter is quite hypertrophic and it is quite huge. Okay, so he has consented to us uh, to make a video to put on Facebook and YouTube and uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to make a tutorial on how to inject uh, botulinum toxin for this hypertrophy uh, which helps her to reduce the hypertrophy. So basically what happens is, if you see, an ideal good looking face is basically an oval shaped face. Okay? Now what actually happens is, if we have a masseter which is like hypertrophic, if you see, it becomes quite squarish. So what we measured is actually the width at the forehead level, the width at the mid face level and the width at the jaw level. So when all the three widths are actually same, it's like a squarish shape and this doesn't look very aesthetic. So what we are going to do is a procedure for contouring the face to get an ideal looking face. So it's one of the procedures to contour a, a contour an anesthetic face to get an oval shape or an ideal face. Now this masseter could be hypertrophic because of many reasons actually. Uh, some people actually grind in the night, it's called bruxism. Because of this the, hyper, the masseter could be hypertrophic. That's most of the, one of the most important reasons why the patients you know kind of have a hypertrophy. There are, various re uh, there are various modalities to treat them. One of the modalities could be resecting the masseter here. Uh, so we can resect it, we can go, we can put the incisions intraorally, we don't leave a scar from outside and we can go back and we can resect the masseter there and we can take it off. The problem is we do not really know how much of a masseter we can actually resect there. So it's uh, very unpredictable. So a predictable way to manage uh, mesetric hypertrophy is basically by injecting botulinum toxin type A. So what we are going to do is we are going to inject so CX which is the botulinum toxin type A. So what it basically does is it has got as I mentioned toxin type A. So it blocks on to the acetylcholine which is a neurotransmitter and once the acetylcholine is blocked, the neurotransmitter is blocked, the muscles do not move. The muscles go into relaxation and once the muscles go into relaxation, the muscles do not move and there is a hypertrophy, I mean there is an atrophy of the muscles because the muscles are not getting used. So over a period of time, once we have injected now, for example in month one and then we inject after like four months. So once we are given two injections, we start seeing that the face has started slimming down. So it's a modality as I mentioned to contour the face. So, couple of things which are involved, we should know how to dilute or reconstitute the botulinum toxin and how to mark on the masseter and how to inject for the masseter. So let's talk about reconstitution. So we all know that botulinum toxin type A, it comes as 100 units and 50 units. So let me just open this. So CX is basically 100 units botulinum toxin, which is from Meditox. So we have a 100 unit here. So 100 you did CX here, we have it here. So it's actually freeze dried and it is vacuumized. So if you see at the end of the bottle, there's a small ring which is a freeze dried powder. Okay, this is how it appears and this is how it looks like. Now we have to dilute or we have to reconstitute this CX with 2.5 cc of normal saline. So I have already got 2.5 normal, 2.5 cc of normal saline, which I will be reconstituting on do with 100 units. So it's simple calculation, 2.5 cc is reconstituting 100 units. So practically it is 1 ml which contains 40 units. This is just for easy calculation because when we do that, we normally inject with uh, BD syringes. So that is having a 31 gauge needle and basically there are markings, so 40 markings. So basically this is a 1 ml syringe if you see and actually 1 ml, 1 ml syringe and 1 ml contains 40 units. Simple calculation. 40 units in 1 ml so the kind of uh, units you want it is just marked here so if I want for 5 units you inject till the 0.5 you want to go till 
you want to give 10 units you go till the marking of 10 15 20 like that so for example if i want to use for four headlines so we deliver about two units per per, per injection area so we can always go up to two markings and give it i mean inject it that way so it is for simple calculation so 40 units uh, uh, the 100 units they constituted in 2.5 uh, ml of saline so that is 1 ml contains 40 units and then what we do is we withdraw that in a VD syringe and we can inject okay so what I'm going to do is first to reconstitute it so that's the cap so what I'm doing is going to open up the cap and this is 2.5 series 2.5 cc normal saline so all I have to do is just go in here so the moment I go in as I mentioned it is vacuum there so it slowly sucks in the whole of the normal saline inside so, so gradually it goes inside gradually and slowly it's all done it's all gone inside so 2.5 cc has gone inside we are not supposed to vigorously move this all we have to do is just slowly turn it around and we are done we are mixed with it okay so now we have got 100 units in 2.5 cc now we are ready to inject now talking about the injections how to draw there are few people who talk about injecting directly through the rubber stopper there uh, but I personally feel it's it, this is a 31 gauge needle when we are talking about a BD syringe so basically when we go through the rubber stopper it becomes pretty blunt so I would prefer to open it up and take out the amount which is required and then we we'll put it I mean we can inject it wherever you want okay that's about reconstituting we have already reconstituted now what is very important is we should know that the toxin can get denatured if it is kept out of refrigeration so when it is transported to you it is transported in a cold chain at minus 2 degrees centigrade so if you want to keep it for like 24 hours you can keep it at a temperature of say 2 to 4 degrees that's precisely you have to keep it if you keep it outside it gets denatured and the effect of toxin is totally gone so by the time we do the marking i just keep it here and then i'll show you how to do it you've cleansed the area yeah it's already cleansed so what I'm going to do is I'll do the markings. Now, how do you do the markings? So you ask the page, the first thing is you draw a line from the corner of the mouth all the way to the tragus here. So that's going to be a superior line and inferior line, you basically draw a line along the lower border of the mandible. Okay, that's it. Now, Ask the patient to clench. Can you clench? Perfect. Now you palpate the anterior border of the masseter. That's my anterior border. And that's my posterior border. So the whole of the masseter is actually in this rectangle here. So it's the whole of the masseter. So you can see the bulkiness here. Right? Can you relax? Yeah. Can you clench now? Yeah. Perfect. That's, so that's the whole of the masseter. Now, in the whole area, in this area, we can inject... In five points, some people inject at four points, some people inject at six points. I prefer to inject at five points, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is five points we are going to inject on. What quantity of toxins do we inject? So I normally prefer to inject about five units in each point. So if the masseter is more than heavy, I mean more heavier than this, we can have to go up to six units per, 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 per area, I mean per injection. So that's six, 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 so that's about 30 units or now what I'm going to do is I'll be injecting about 25 units or so 5 units in each spot. So practically what happens is once we have done it, uh, we as I mentioned you have to call the patient back after 3 to 4 months and then re-inject within next 4, 5, 6 months you would see the face slimming down. So it is, uh, the, 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 uh, as I said it is also called facial contouring uh, to contour the face, to contour the squarish shape. In the same way, what we are also supposed to do is on the other side, we draw a line all the way from the angle to the triggers here and that's going to be our lower border. Okay, ask the patient to clench, 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 perfect. That's their anterior border and that's my posterior border. Okay, and that's going to be my five point injections, nice. Okay. Now, we are all set, so all we have to do now is apply a little ice there, so that the pain is less. So that by the time she applies little ice, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up this vial of toxin. So I open this up, 
I open this up. Now I just have the rubber stopper here and I'm all set to draw and inject. So what I will do is, maybe I will draw about 15 units. So that's going to be precisely three points of injection. So what happens is after three marks, the needle becomes blunt and the patient normally gets pain. So I would prefer to discard the syringe after three shots and then you know kind of take pick up another syringe and you inject in the other places. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw about uh, 15 units of CX. So all I'm going to do now is so I'm not touching the needle anywhere else and I am seeing this precisely it's about So that's precisely 15 units which we are talking about and I keep it here and that's 15 units which I have here and we are all set perfect so okay now so we have this point okay my first point of injection would be here so I have to go deep down into the muscle. So what's the depth of insertion? Ideally, you are supposed to go back, go into the, uh, the mass of the muscle or the depth of the muscle and then inject. So I'll be going full depth here, basically to reach the mass uh, or the main bulk of the muscle. Okay. Just one second, huh? Bottom. I'm going to inject here. So one, two, three down here. So that's five units. Relax. Perfect. So I would go about six units here. Because this particular point, I saw it is pretty bulky. Okay. And the third point of injection is going to be here. Okay. For this, ice. Okay, so I have injected in three points and I am going to discard this syringe and I'm going to pick up another syringe because as I mentioned, it's normally painful and I'm going to, you know, kind of draw another 10 units to inject in the other two areas. So that's 10 units which I'm going to take to inject into the other two areas so I have injected here here and here what is left out is here and here so what I'm going to do now is go down here inject another five units come out that so that's about injecting into the masseter. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And as I mentioned to you, uh, it takes about two settings for the masseter to reduce. And you normally see the results in like four, five months. It slenders down, the face looks slimmer and face looks much better. Now, uh, from point of view, the, the patient, if he's a bruxer, it also relaxes the muscle and the bruxism actually also reduces. Uh, so those are the few indications which we do for uh, masseter hypertrophy. Apart from that, the other areas where we can inject uh, uh, CIX or botulinum toxin are the forehead lines, the glabellar lines, the crow's feet, the gummy smile, the platysma, and then we also inject it for the trigeminal neuralgia. Of course, these are all off-level indications, but we have been injecting into the trigeminal neuralgia also, and we have found excellent results um, uh, of botulinum toxin. Uh, and we'll be coming out with an article to prove that botulinum toxin can be used um, uh, in uh, trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, it's going to be a randomized controlled trial, and we'll be coming out with that soon, and I will be definitely sharing that with you guys. Um, that's about injecting botulinum toxin for masseteric hypertrophy. Uh, that's a small tutorial which I have given and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And if you have any queries, please come back to us and you can let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer you. Thank you. Dr. Arun Panda, Aesthetic Facial Maxillary Surgeon, Navi Mumbai, India. Bye-bye. Take care.